Chris Harmon, How Marxism Works, Section, The Withering Away of the State. Because state power would not be something separate from the mass of the workers, it would be much less a matter of coercion than under capitalism, as the remnants of the old society against which it was directed became resigned to the success of the revolution. And as revolutions removed foreign ruling classes, there would be less and less need for coercion, until eventually workers never need to take time off from work to staff the police and the army. This is what Marx and Lenin meant when they said the state would wither away. Instead of coercion against people, the state would be, become merely a mechanism of workers' councils to decide how to produce and allocate goods. Workers' councils have come into being in one form or another whenever the struggle between the classes within capitalism has reached a really high level. Soviet is the word the Russians used for workers' councils in 1905 and 1917. In 1918, in Germany, workers' councils were, briefly, the only power in the country. In Spain, in 1936, the various workers' parties and unions were united by militia committees, which ran the localities and were very much like workers' councils. In Hungary, in 1956, the workers elected councils to run the factories and the localities as they fought Russian troops. In Chile, in 1972-3, the workers began to build cordones, workers' committees that linked the big factories. The Workers' Council begins life as a body workers use to coordinate their struggle against capitalism. It may start with modest functions, raising strike funds maybe, but because these bodies are based on direct election from the workers, with workers' representatives subject to recall, they can, at the highest points in the struggle, coordinate the efforts of the whole working class. They can lay the basis for workers' power. End of section.